Hey, what's up guys? So we are going to be going over the top 10 cards that you hate when your opponent activates. And first off, Spellbook of Judgment. Oh man, once this card is activated, I'm thinking in my head, oh no, it's this deck. Do they have secrets into Master, into Shenanigans, Tune Tables, and man, when this card is activated, you're already preparing yourself. You're like, oh, I, I do, can I OGK next turn? If I can't, I'm basically going to lose. This card is so dirty once it's activated. Next up, Super Rejuvenation. Man, those Elemental Dragons, once once this card's activated, it doesn't matter if you maxi them, they're just gonna be like, oh, I don't care. You get to draw one off of, you know, each maxi. I get to draw two at the end phase for each, you know, um, baby dragon that I discard, and, you know, baby dragon plus another card equals drawing two cards, and sometimes they just throw out such a huge field, and then they have, like, six cards in hand, or, you know, even during the end phase, they activate multiples of these. You're left with really nothing. You're like, oh, shoot, he's got so much advantage into the game. And on top of that, you're gonna have to face off Elemental Dragons. <laughs> Next up, Mermel Abyss Mangle. Once your opponent reveals this card in your hand, you're like, oh, oh, shoot, do I have an answer? Because if not, I might just lose within the next 20 seconds of this duel. Yeah, Mermel Abyss Mangle, very nasty. Next up, at number four, Judgment Dragon. Now, uh, this card, it's always dirty. When you see your opponent is in a very bad situation, you're like, oh, I've got game, I've got my face down, Mirror Force, I got this. Like, don't worry, I got Mirror Force, I got Compulse, go ahead. And they go, Judgment Dragon. And you're like, oh, shoot, what do I do? Do I Compulse it? Of course. And then they just special zone it again. But yeah, this card is very dirty, and I am... A player that used to play Light Sworn, uh, you know, when Honest was at three, when Charge was at three, this was definitely one of the best decks. And this guy was so nasty. He was such an unfair card, especially when you combine him with Honest. I mean, there's nothing that's getting over Dutchman Dragon. Plus, his effect was amazing. Uh, next card up, Drag Down into the Grave, especially when it's turn one. When, I'm, when your opponent activates this, you're like, okay, first off, you know, it's most of the time it's Dark World. There are Spellbook players that have been playing this too, which is still a nasty card. And once you, uh, you know, see your opponent's hand, you're like, oh, let me just discard, oh uh, well, I'll discard your stow, I guess, because that's the only card you left me with as an option, because all the good cards, they've already set them, and they're going to only leave you with Dark World monsters, and then the Dark World player goes, hmm, nice, uh, nice, uh, heavy storm, let's get rid of that now that I've set everything. Oh, they get rid of you, like, you know, you're one out to, you know, with their field, and you're like, oh, that's fine. And then, uh, you know, they always give you cards where it doesn't matter. They're always going to go plus, but that's how Drag Down works. Uh, next up, Gateway of the Six. Oh, man. This card, it steals games, I swear. Six Samurais can be at the worst position. As long as they have this card and two bosses they can summon, they're going off, and especially first turn if this card is activated, you might as well go to Scoop Face unless you can reveal all five of Exotic, because it doesn't matter what deck that, that um, they're playing against. If they open Gateway and they can summon a few monsters, it's pretty much set up to where they have so much advantage that they just simply win the game. Uh, now this card, oh man, I hated this card so much, simply because um, during a time where Plants was one of the most popular decks, Gravekeepers were also a very popular deck, and this card absolutely destroyed Plants, because good luck even touching your graveyard, because obviously Necro Valley has to be out, and on top of that, you've lost your entire hand. This card is still a very dirty card, and I'm always salty when this card is activated. Next up, Rescue Rabbit, especially for a turn, because, oh, well, I guess unless you have Valor, Max C, then if you have Max C or Valor, then yeah, someone rescue it. I don't care, I'm gonna run over it. But you know, if Rescue Rabbit gets protected or you know, if you don't have anything, Rescue Rabbit's gonna go off. I mean, right now it's not like the hottest meta card, you know. Um, it's but well, it's pretty meta in like evil swarms, but uh, that said, once it comes out, it's just like you know what's coming, you know, they're gonna get at least a plus one card advantage off of you, even if they're playing like Mac Rabbit Lagia or Dolka is still a very good card first turn, and it's just like once you see this card, you're like, oh no. <laughs> Next card up, Pot of Avarice. This card has, you know, won so many games. When uh, your opponent is top decking and they top deck an Avarice, oh man, they can, like, you know, go off from there. Maybe they have some combos. They already have that Spore in the graveyard. I love this card. Uh, especially, if you guys didn't know, this card at one point was at 3 in the game. But yeah, very good card. And for my final spot, this card everyone's lost to this card, Heavy Storm. I don't care about Dark Hole or Reborn. As much as I do when my opponent goes and Heavy Storms me, especially when I go first turn set two or three cards, there's even been times where I've set five cards because I'm like, you know what? He, he, there's no way he's going to Heavy. You know, he, He's going to be afraid of Starlight Road, right? And they Heavy Storm and you're like, well, I just lost the game because I tried to bluff my opponent without a card. 
<laughs> and you know, it's something that you know players do, especially when the you know if, if I go first, I set heavy and you set a bunch of cards. I like, flip up heavy, pro set the heavy, so good. But yeah, heavy storm definitely takes the number one spot for me. But yeah, let me know what uh, cards you guys think because this video is kind of my opinion. But I'm sure that there are other cards where opponent activates and you just you just face palm because you're so sad because you're. You're looking at it, you're like, oh, he's going to get some type of advantage, especially when it's these cards. I mean, these ones are pretty obvious. Like, everyone has those uh, grudges against those cards, especially when they're activated early on in the game. But for me, I would say, uh, personally, uh, Road Tribute is pretty dirty, but Heavy Storm is one of those cards where everyone can relate to, where you set one or two cards, and, uh, you know, Heavy Storm just, you know, they just go off and they just win. But anyways, thanks for watching. Have a great day. And let me know in the comment section below, what card makes you very sad or angry or frustrated when your opponent activates. But anyways, thanks for watching. Asian Eyes, signing out.